Hello! After having shown you several options on how to um, run or compile your code for the microcontroller under Windows and some options which should work under a native Linux platform, I now also installed Visual Studio Code on a Linux Mint installation. It's a Ubuntu based installation on an older laptop which I have lying around and I will show you how we can, hopefully I will show you how we can use it. Um, I actually planned to record the whole installation process but I forgot to press the record button. Um, so let's swap over to this screen and here you actually see um, the Visual Studio Code window on the Linux Mint PC and uh, I already wrote a code here so as, as before I had to choose the Sparkfun Pro Micro 8 megahertz 3.3 volts and I had to remove from platform IO so from from the ini file I had to remove the Arduino reference down here I created a new main.c file over here and now I actually wrote a bit of code which should give us some running lights blinking lights something which we should see if it works Compilation went flawlessly by pressing the um, Platform I.O. Build button down here. I can redo it and you'll see that it is here. So then I actually went into a terminal window. I don't know which of the two. This one here. And um, yeah, where I'm stuck right now is the permission denied on the serial port. So I found out by actually connecting the microcontroller to the USB port and bringing it into the boot mode by double clicking on the reset button. Um, I then ran AVR dude C AVR 109 on the port TTY ACM0 which is this line here which only appears um, in devices under TTY uh, once I press the reset button and uh, then actually I got this that I don't have the rights to open the port or to access the port. Um, there are two ways around this of course I can now do it as a super user and perhaps I will first try if this works so I will do a super, I will copy the row here first and then I put myself into sudo here I double click the microcontroller and I press enter here and 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 I think I okay. again. Okay, now it works. Um, I will probably do flow. And no, it's okay. Again. Thank you, program. Program works and then obviously you don't have to do those ways which probably cause like me I being sudo or actually I'm not specifying the correct CPU here, so it's like right the correct name is a bit too few for. I've seen everything here, so I'm looking at the microcontroller pressing. One, two, three, four, five. These are short eight seconds, I say. Um, no, not sorry, not sorry, five, 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 I should try to do it without sudo before I think it just slows the whole process down. So what I probably have to do is get myself to the user group dial out and uh, let's see how to do it. Um, I'm going to get dial out. And how to get dial out group? Yes. And uh, Windows user exactly, but that is me. Um, so, uh, sudo user dial out. Okay, let's try this. Sudo get user from here. Dial out. User, okay, that was painless. And let's try this again without the sudo before it. And we'll see if it works. Can't open device, not a private record. Okay. Can't open device, not a private record. Dial out. It's not here. It's not here. It's here. Okay. Push the light. Still push the light. Still open push the light. Hmm. Zero open permission denied. Okay, let's try what we can find otherwise. Zero open permission denied. Well, okay, now it's not home. Can't open device. Zero open device. Oh, yes, exactly. That's us. Uh -huh. And this really looks like us. I don't want advertisements. Um, uh, we're trying to make a good user mod. Okay, I can add myself also to the TTY group. Okay, I'm just going to say it doesn't work. It doesn't help me anymore. 
Blue side out, okay, yes, what is this? Okay. Which way to look at it? I have a different problem. Okay. See, it's not R plus RW. Okay, let's see if I have this house. Um, zero, three and out. A plus RW, four, two, side out. No, not for you, side out. Just for the def, T, T, Y, A, C, M, zero. Zero. Okay, let's try that. Here, okay, no complaints. And now we are trying to reach it on this port again. And can't open the machine tonight. Okay, who is part of your Yes, he says, hmm, I am. Did I doubt? I have. Okay, let's try this as well. Pseudo, get, install, reinstall, the dude. Something I'm not a bit more blurry, I don't know why. Um, but let's try one more time. Make a dude on the right port. I still am not allowed to open the port. Phew, help, help. Okay. LS minus L, let's try the language mentioned here. Um, F, E, D, Y, A, Z, M, 0. Not that's why I was just fast. And here it is. It's root, root, and 166. So it's actually not part of the dialogue here. It's part of the root. Okay, um. Um, I think, in a way, um, change the root of F, E, D, Y, A, Z, M, 0 to dialogue. I don't know what to do with this one. Okay, 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 of course. Yes. Dialogue. And now, the root again. No, that was too fast. And now the dialogue root, uh, which my user account also is in. And now, let's check here. We finally, I'm still not allowed to do anything here. Okay, what are the roots? We have to rewrite on the user account, and we have to rewrite on the root. Oh, ah, after one resource, it's actually from the root mode. Hmm. Okay, so go, so. Hey, you dude. Minus T, ABR19, minus P, F, E, D, Y, A, C, M, 0, minus P, M, 32, root 4. We bring it into the root T, and this works. <sighs> so, how do I set permanent rights to the port? So, that's easy. You can see it's on your port, and 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 you can see it's on your Still continuing to find to get this to work. Um, now I actually found other threads from 2018 here, which says that I should stop serial getty and disable serial getty. I got some other hints as well. And let's do this and uh, see if this helps somehow. So what do I have to type? Pseudo system control stop serial getty. Okay. Pseudo system control stop serial getty at then just pty ac0 pty ac0. Let's see if I have to have it for it or not. Well, that's not. And then after stopping this, I should also disable serial getty. Okay. Um, system control. And now I will try to see what happens. So I to have a look at our device. Let me get the reboot and let's monitor the system. It is. And now it's in the dialogue loop. Okay, I will put this down as a hint for everyone. Um, it seems to be correct now. Um, the port is in the dialogue loop. My user account is in the dialogue loop. And let's see if I'm a dude. Actually, can do something. I can find the dialogue loop from before. Putting the device in reset mode. No way. No way. Okay, it's not here. It's not here. It's here. It's in the dialogue loop. And it has to be right on the dialogue loop. And my user account is in the dialogue loop. Oh my god. Yeah, I will try to do this. Yeah. Okay, start recording again. One tip was actually, which I found on the net, to restart the Linux computer after doing all these changes. Um, let's see if this had any effect. So we'll do an lsl def tty acm0. We put the port into the bootloader and press enter and it says there is no such and here we are and actually it's a dial out device now um, which it should be so let's try if we can actually get something from avia dude can't open device permission denied oh my god um, so uh, but let's check again am i still in the dial out loop am i in the dial out loop let me see how could I see that. This is this what I did, but um, see if I open. You know how to fix, perhaps. ID. Exactly. So I want to do an ID on my account. ID with it, and it says that I'm in the dialogue loop. But if I am in the dialogue loop, and it is, why is permission still denied? somewhere yay okay i have to wait to the exact right moment <laughs> no yes hmm. i would assume that this could be because this computer is not the world's fastest machine but now actually I have it somewhat reliably working. 
Yes. Okay. So let's put all this together <laughs> and give you some update. Oh, actually, first of all, we want to upload the code which we wrote, don't we? So we'll have to find out where this code was put. And I am almost sure that I have no idea where it is. I think it's under documents, CD documents, documents, platform IO, LS projects, CD projects, LS, um, LS, no capital letters, LS, it's in the catalog 20. So CD20, the project name, and then it will be under um, test, I guess. I'm not sure. Include clip source test. CD test. LS. LS. No. That's only a readme. So where did platform IO put my files? Okay, let's do it like this. Oh, it's in, in the hidden catalog, of course, it's in the hidden catalog. .io, for whichever reason, they hide this. Um, I really hope this will not put anyone off. So CD dot, CD dot IO. LS, CD build, LS, CD smartphone, LS. And here is now our hex file, firmware.hex. And this is the one which we want to upload into our microcontroller. So as you see, there's currently something running here which actually makes the LEDs go up and down on both sides. And this was not the code which we wrote. The code which we wrote would actually be a binary counter on the yellow LEDs. So let's see if everything happens as it's supposed to. And I can do this without swapping cameras. So I will try to find my maybe Arduino command again. Where is it? Okay, let's do it like this. Maybe R. No, sorry, maybe R. Eh, you know, no. A, V, R. No, it doesn't work on this. Okay. Uh, go, 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 go. There, there it is. There it is. And we now want to tell it to upload into the flash. Uh, so actually, I have to do some short search here uh, for the correct syntax. Um, flash colon byte and then the file name. So dash U for upload. Um, dash U for upload. And then upload where? It's the flash. And what should we do? We should write. And what should we write? We should write the file firmware.hex. Um, here is the blinking LEDs. Everything is very exciting now. And let's see, let's give it a reset and do it like this and can't open. So we'll try it again because I was probably too fast. We are still now we left the bootloader. So yes. Yes. And can anyone see if it's counting? It's counting in binary. Yes, we have the correct we, we have uploaded the code using Linux. And it only took us forever for the first time. But now it should actually work like this always um i will now shut this off and try to make it into a video which i can 